Imerovicli Sandorini. Doing a walking tour of this beautiful town here on the island of Sandorini in Greece. sure you stay all the way until the end hey guys welcome back to my channel thanks so much for tuning in before we get started make sure you subscribe down below there is so much content coming for greece every single day so you definitely don't want to miss out so hit that notification bell as well so you can get notified every time i post up brand new videos so today we are going through the beautiful town of Imerovigli on the island of Sandorini in Greece. This virtual walking tour, I cannot tell you how stunned and shocked I was. <laughs> so as soon as I pulled up, if you don't know, I had rented a uh, car so I can tour the entire island, get as much content for you guys. And I had parked my vehicle and I'm looking around this town and I'm like, okay, how do I get there? <laughs> and I start, you know, walking up the hill and you will see it. As soon as I got up the hill and I made my way to the church and, you know, I had stopped to ask for directions as well. They told me just go straight through oh my heavens it was just so so gorgeous everything about Imerovigli was just absolutely stunning and as much as yes it has the same concept as Fira and Ia there was just something about Imerovigli for me that just really sat with me now I had gone pretty early in the morning I do all of my walking tours early in the morning because of the heat and trying to, uh, you know, just stay safe from the heat. And so I don't know if it's because it was very early morning, so it wasn't really that crazy or crowded, but the vibe had to be the chillest vibe that I had on the entire island, like all the towns that I went to. It was like getting a piece of heaven of Fira and Ia, but without all that craziness. And then still all the beautiful view and Skaros rock. I just, it was just so absolutely beautiful, stunning. I really, really enjoyed my time. And I, I don't know if it's also because it is between Fira and Ia, where, you know, you kind of get like a glimpse of what each side view, you know what I'm saying? Like what, what side, like the middle view of the views that you get from each side. There you go, that's what I wanted to say. If you don't know, I speak a few languages and I'm in the process of learning Italian, guys. I'm so excited about that. I really, I mean, hello, they're neighbors of Greece, right? So why shouldn't I learn that? And then after, maybe I will learn some Turkish. So the fact that it is in the middle of both of those views, I, I don't know. I really, I cannot, um, you know, put it into words. I just absolutely loved it. As you can see as well, everything was just so beautiful. And not only that, everything was just so clean. So Fira, because of the donkeys, there is a lot of places and parts of Fira that unfortunately are not clean because of the donkey dung, it smells. And just because of the high traffic, I don't feel like it's a, it's as clean. It's not as clean, anywhere near as clean as in Mirovigli. But here, it everything was, I would literally drop something off the floor and possibly eat it. <laughs> Just kidding, I would never do that. But that's how clean I felt it was. The entire village, everything was just absolutely clean, beautiful, all the hotels, the pools. As you can see, everything is just so absolutely gorgeous. And the one thing that I really, really did love as well 
is this felt a lot more connected than going to Ia and Fira. And what I mean by that is, you know, I would I saw the workers, I would see the cleaning, uh, you know, the cleaners. They were doing some construction, but everyone, it just felt like a very tighter knit community, if that makes sense. Like everyone was speaking with each other and you just, or at least I did, I kind of felt like I was more of a part of, you know, the town as opposed to Firan Ia because it's so high traffic areas like there's just so many people there like how do you really establish that unless you are just a worker there right and they've seen you all the time but i that was you know this is my first day going there and throughout my walk i was having like i said the workers cleaners construction people you know hotel receptionists like anyone was just saying good morning and it just felt a lot more of a i guess homey feel would be a good way to say that and if you're looking for the real Sandorini experience without all that craziness, then Imero Vigli is absolutely for you. Like you want the pools, you want the views, but you don't want to like step out of your hotel and the pool and it's just mayhem everywhere you go, <laughs> then this area is absolutely absolutely for you i most likely if i was to do sandorini to have that like you know experience where i you know want to have that swim out pool this would be an area for myself i am over like the crazy parties and everything else give me views peace serenity pool good food and I'm good. So this area, absolutely, I definitely loved. So if you're in between Fira and Ia, but you like more of a chilled out vibe, then Imero Vigli is definitely for you. And while you're actually doing the hike from Fira to Ia, you would actually pass through here anyway. So you can absolutely, you know, if you're in Sandorini and you know you want to come back, and you're doing a little bit more research on where to stay next this is definitely a place to kind of pass through and see if it's if it's your vibe for sure because it was for me so another thing that i want to talk about is i get a lot of messages about um you know just people asking me about where i book all of my travel since i do so much traveling now i use specific websites i use one website that gives me cash back on all of my shopping and then I use another website that is strictly for all of my traveling. And with that, I have been a member for, uh, I'm dating myself, but over a decade, if not longer, I signed up for free. It's still free to sign up. I get exclusive member discounts, exclusive member pricing. So let's say a hotel is like $190 for a night. They'll have exclusive member pricing where I'll get it for $179, right? So why not? Um, and on top of that, I also get money back into my account every time I shop my travel through them. So then I get money back so I could spend more money on travel. So really, it's just a win-win situation altogether. You will find that website down below in the video description. And you'll also find other links for some of my travel gear recommendations, just things that are a little bit more lightweight that I feel are just super convenient or have made my life way easier while I've been doing all of this traveling. So down in the video description is where you'll find a few links and then also, again, where you will find the website where I do all of my booking. And when I mean all of my booking, I literally mean everything, like my flights, my rental cars, my hotels, even my vacation packages. Because if you buy flights and hotels, you'll even get like uh, bundle deals as well. So it's really just an amazing platform. Like I said, I've been using it for over a decade now. And because the prices are, I feel, very reasonable, traveling doesn't have to be something that just seems far-fetched to you right or, or to some people where you know it has to be some type of like dream or bucket list thing of course you know if you want to stay at one of the most you know 
top end hotels with like the swim out and, and do the whole Sandorini bit. Yes, that would be an investment. But there is so many other options throughout Sandorini. And in my walking tour for Fira, I actually go on the outskirts of Fira and you could see it is full of hotels. So you can still get the Sandorini experience and come to Sandorini without having to you know, break the bank in a sense or make this some type of bucket list experience. You can absolutely come here, experience it way before then. And a lot of these hotels, not a lot, but some hotels actually do allow um, other people besides guests to come in. Now, that doesn't mean that they're just going to let you walk in. You would have to pay for the day, but that's still an option for you, right, where you could come enjoy your stay and you know stay at a hotel that might just be right in the town but like right outside of it as opposed to again those swim out pools right on the the cliff sides and then just go and enjoy a day or two at one of those hotels for the actual day itself so that is an idea for some of you if that's something that you'd want to do when i was in mexico i would do that all the time Everyone really does it. There are day passes and you just go and you enjoy all the amenities and everything else of these resorts, but you are not an overnight guest. It's for people, you know, that are locals or again, that just want to go and experience for the day. So that is definitely an option for you as well to where you can do the this traveling and it not be again some type of huge bucket list thing. So I really hope you enjoy this walking tour of Imero Vigli Sandorini. There is so many beautiful views still coming up on this video. So do not click off. Watch until the end so you can get the full experience of Imero Vigli and Sandorini. And I just started accepting super thanks on my channel. So if you appreciate my content, and want to support the channel, you can always send me a super thanks.
enjoyed this beautiful walking tour of Imerovigli on the island of Sandorini here in Greece. Make sure you check out all of my playlists and content for Greece. There is so many videos out, so many different playlists that are going to be attached to this video below and in the cards and a lot more coming as I had explained earlier in the video. But definitely check out the next videos that are going to come up on your screen as those are the videos that YouTube thinks you will enjoy the most. So thanks again so much for watching guys. Guys, subscribe and share until next time.